peak oil. What's going on in the world? Why are we having uh, our travel restricted? Why did they invade the Middle East? Why are they banning the internal, internal combustion engine? Are we running out of oil? That's the question. So uh, most of the countries in the world, they've signed on to Agenda 21, United Nations Sustainable Development. And uh, one of the things they've done, they've all agreed to ban the internal combustion engine. If you want to, you can go to Wikipedia and there's an article entitled Phase Out of Fossil Fuel Vehicles. And uh, it says the phase out of fossil fuel vehicles means stopping selling and using vehicles which are powered by fossil fuels, such as gasoline, diesel, kerosene, and fuel oil. It is one of the three most important parts of the general fossil fuel phase out process. The others being the phase out of fossil fuel power plants for electricity generation and decarbonization of industry. So if you go down here, they have a list of all the countries and you can see what year they're going to start um, phasing out the internal combustion engine. So in Austria, 2040. Azerbaijan, 2040. Belgium, 2026 to 2029. Cambodia, 2040. Canada, 2035. Cape Verde, 2040. Chile, 2035. Now, now um, at the same time where they're phasing out the internal combustion engine, you can see all these uh, electric vehicles coming online like Tesla. So, uh, back to the list. China, 2035. Costa Rica, 2050. Croatia, 2040. Cyprus, 2040. Denmark, 2030 to 35. Dominican Republic, 2040. Egypt, 2040. El Salvador, 2040. Finland, 2040. Germany, 2030. Ghana, 2040. Greece, 2030. Hong Kong, 2035. Iceland, 2030. Indonesia, 2050. Ireland, 2040. Italy, 2035. Israel, 2030. Japan, 2035. Kenya, 2040. Lithuania, 2040. Luxembourg, 2040. Macau, 2035. Mexico, 2040. Morocco, 2040. Netherlands, 2030. New Zealand, 2040. Norway, 2025. Paraguay, 2040. Poland, 2040. Portugal, 2035. Rwanda, 2040. Singapore, it says uh, 2025, diesel-only cars and taxis. 2030, petrol-only and diesel-only vehicles. Slovenia, 2031. South Korea, 2035. Spain, 2040. Sweden, 2030. Taiwan, 2040. Thailand, 2035. Turkey, 2040. United Kingdom, 2030 to 35, 2040. Uruguay, 2040. So as you can see... Most of the countries in the world, they have all agreed to ban the internal combustion engine. Now, is that because we're going to run out of fuel? I mean, think about how much fuel the planet uses every day. You know, all the cars driving everywhere, all the tractors for the, um, the crops that are grown, all the ships that are crossing the seas with all the goods, all the jets flying everywhere. And this is day after day after day. There's, you know, over 7 billion people. And uh, we're all using up a certain amount of oil per person. The oil's not going to last forever. And to me, it seems like all the things they've been doing is uh, because we're at peak oil. So uh, let's take 9-11, for example. 9-11, New York got attacked, and they said Osama bin Laden did it, and he was in Afghanistan... So um, so why did they invade Iraq then? Why would you invade Iraq for a guy that's in Afghanistan? It's because Iraq's where all the oil is. The Middle East full of oil. Why do you think they uh, t wanted to uh, attack uh, Syria? The oil's there. Um, why did they kill uh, Muammar Gaddafi? Because uh, Libya's full of oil. Um... Look at the collapse of the Venezuelan currency. And they put uh, Venezuela into poverty. Why did they do that? Because Venezuela has a lot of the world's oil left. 
Okay, now you could look at uh, the Georgia Guidestones. They want to reduce the population. Why do they want to reduce the population? Because we are using too many non-renewable resources. I mean, how, why do you think there's over 7, 7 billion people in the world in the first place? It's because of oil. Because we have all these tractors that run on diesel that can grow all this food. You know, back before the Industrial Revolution, most people were, uh, were peasant farmers. They would grow their own food on their own little piece of land. So, um, you can also look at the Illuminati card game. Here, look at this. I'm going to show you this. Look. Now, here's the Georgia Guidestones. And the first um, so-called commandment on the Georgia Guidestones, it says, Maintain humanity under 500 million in perpetual balance with nature. And then if you look at the Illuminati card game... There's a, there's a card, and it says goal, population reduction. That matches up with the Georgia Guidestones, doesn't it? And then you have the uh, what's been going on lately. I'm not even going to say it. But you can look, you know, look at this card. It says epidemic and quarantine. What do you have here? You have the masks. You have the vaccines. And then you have a bunch of people in body bags. Now, that would sort of match up with this, wouldn't it? And here's another card from the Illuminati card game called Energy Crisis, New World Order. So, I mean, are we are we at peak oil? Because that, look, see it's on E for empty? Okay, so during the pandemic, they, uh, they stopped all travel around the world with all the uh, international travel with the jets. Why did they do that? Because flying uses up a lot of fuel. Now, some people say that we will never run out of oil and that the Earth continually generates it. So if, if the Earth continually uh, regenerates oil, then why bother looking for new oil wells? The reason they look for new oil wells is because the old wells run dry. And also, if, if, if uh, the Earth keeps producing oil nonstop and we're never going to run out, then why are they doing all this stuff in the first place? Why go through all this effort? They could just keep things running the way they are if they're not running out of oil. I mean, yeah, there is still a lot of oil left, but the people in power are not going to use up the rest of the oil on the lower classes. They're going to save it for their private jets. It is my opinion that everything we are seeing is because of peak oil. So that's... Uh, you know, they want to shut down the economy and do the Great Reset. The Great Reset is Agenda 21, sustainable development, right? So they're going to do all these things. So, so you know, the war in Ukraine and the pandemic, this is all just to shut down the economy and, and bring in the Great Reset, which is going to be uh, phasing out fossil fuels. So there you go. They're going to stop us from uh, using fossil fuels. Because they want to save it for their private jets. Peace.